were looking at this wall, which was a cavity wall. Um, how do you get insulation into the cavity walls? What kind of insulation is this one, John? Well, uh, this is polyurethane expanding foam. Now, when they came to put in the cavity wall insulation, did this process go smoothly? Uh, for the most part, yes. It, there were a few um, unexpected side effects. Oh, really? What happened? A bit of, um, of the expanding foam did start coming out of a plug socket. On the uh, inside? And also, it, um, it completely filled uh, and destroyed a fuse box. So, uh, what you see here is actually a new one, courtesy of uh, Kershaw, who, uh, put, who injected the expanding foam. John, will you show me what's in the, in the loft? Yes. So up here is basically uh, the standard uh, insulation, uh, the kind that you can get a grant for. What's that black plastic stuff on the hatch? Yes, uh, they also put in insulation over the top of the hatch, which I'm glad of. Uh, Excellent. But yes, because it seems pretty important, otherwise that could be significant heat loss. It would be. <laughs> and have you got your PV inverters up there as well? Yes, there's the uh, inverter for the solar panels that's up there too. That's really quiet. It's a sunny day. Yeah, it's just, not... a, just a little hum. Oh, that's really good. Okay. So, here behind this picture is um, a very, very basic ventilation shaft, by which I mean a hole that leads directly to the outside. It goes up and then, uh, it's just above it, there's a hole that leads to the outside. And when you had the cavity wall insulation done, this, this wasn't touched? No, it wasn't filled. It's probably just as well. I, mean, I suppose ventilation is something we should be thinking about because, um, you know, I noticed that your windows don't have trickle vents on, um, so where is your ventilation? It seems overall we don't actually have enough in the way of ventilation. Um, in winter we tend to get uh, condensation around the sides of the windows up, um, in the upstairs area. Um, this is oh, caused yeah. apparently by something called the cold bridge effect. Uh, and it gets all mouldy, so that's definitely something we'd like to address. On the, on the sills sort of thing? Yeah, just yeah. on the, this part. Yeah. But that's a, partly a symptom of the cold bridge and partly it's a symptom of the lack of ventilation. It seem like so it, yeah. you do need to have some. Um, you can get wall vents with heat recovery units in. Um, I mean, or you can just put in the trickle vents, I suppose. Have you considered heat recovery? I certainly have considered it, just wasn't sure how to go about it. I'll, I'll find some rest that you can look up. Thank you. Anything else, John? Yes, uh, so you can see there's a full ceiling up here and it's uh, got these annoying halogen lights in. They were here when we moved in. It would be quite an expense and uh, quite a lot of work to uh, take them down and um, put in a single energy saving bulb instead. So that's something we haven't yet got round to doing. Have you considered LEDs? Because um, well, you can get LEDs now to fit for most sort of halogen replacement type things. And um, for this kind of kind of job, they're, they're not bad. Also, I mean, you can sort of disconnect them and, and only have one or two of them operational, depending on how much light you want. I think in the bedroom you probably do want a lot. But I see you have a chimney here, which you aren't, haven't got a fireplace in. It seems to be covered up. Um, what's behind there? Well, it's... Uh an ordinary no, chimney there. So is it I know it was uh, a lot of wind was coming down it and we put this board which we duct taped onto the front so we're not getting so much wind but I'm sure we're still losing a lot of heat from through it. Yeah yeah I mean the main thing is that the chimney is giving you some ventilation and you you actually do want to keep some ventilation in the chimney because uh, possibly that's why we're not getting this uh, mold problem down here on the ground floor. Oh yes that that's very likely that is very likely. So you don't really want to block it off too much unless you put some other ventilation in there. Mm. How do you feel about the things that you've done? Do you think you, you've done the right thing? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it'll, you know, feel very good about uh, the things we've done, especially that we did them before having a child. Because <laughs> <laughs> we haven't really managed to get much done afterwards. That was good planning. Yeah. <laughs> so was there one thing, if you were to recommend to someone else, um, what, you know, what you've done, which one's... What would you recommend? I certainly uh, like a lot of the facts about the, the polyurethane insulation, not just that it keeps the house warm, but it also, we also now uh, can have a reassurance that the structure is going to hold up all the better in the future. It feels good to have, uh, have done it from a money saving point of view and um, also just feeling like it's the right thing to do. But there's still a few things that need doing, but uh, yeah, still time to do all that. Mm -hmm.
2008, John's house had an energy performance certificate of E. Now, with the improvements he's made, its EPC is B, with expected savings on energy bills of hundreds of pounds a year.